everyone. We are back to the hidden home site. Um, welcome back to O200 Detecting Montana. This is episode 11. In the last episode, right behind the cabin here, I found that Civil War button. And we were only here about 20, 25 minutes. So I am real excited to get this one rolling. Um, this is going to be a good one. So anyway, um, let's get to it and uh, find some goodies. Okay, we're right down below the little cabin. I got my first notable find right out of that hole. I got a ring. And it's old. It's a thin band. Um, we'll get her cleaned up at home, but that's definitely a ring. There's no doubt about it. Just the shape of it. Um, very cool. Absolutely love it. What a good start to episode 11, huh? Sweet. Uh, it's sprinkling on us, but the sun's right behind it. That time of year, I just ran into Shirley again. <laughs> Look at that beautiful suspender clip. It says, Shirley, that's Shirley, Boston, Massachusetts. I got to get out of the rain here. God, look at the size of that tree. Absolutely beautiful. Sweet. All right. Okay. We're right in the middle of a storm. The wind is howling. I just popped a dandy. Look at them trees move. You're not even gonna believe this one. I just popped a, my first silver watch. And it's small. Look how beautiful this thing is. I just found the top to it too. So it's right there. This thing is absolutely gorgeous. It's sterling silver. Um, I love it. If that don't make a trip, nothing will. It's got flowers. Absolutely gorgeous. All right. I'm right in front of this little cabin. We hiked out and headed down to the logging camp. Look at this beautiful suspender clip. This thing is so tiny. It's like at as small as my end of my finger. But it's real ornate. Um, very cool. That's a that's a very old buckle there. Absolutely love it. Sweet. So I'm just heading down from those cabins up there. I just popped this. Know what that is? 
<clears throat> that's a harmonica top. You don't find these too often. You find the reeds a lot. But uh, that might be a honer or I can't really tell. But we'll look it up. I'll get back to you. Isn't that cool? Probably have it upside down. I can't even tell. Yeah, I think it says honer right there. It's got a clock and two hands pointed on it. Oh, that's kind of cool. All right. Check this one out, folks. It's my first suspender clip with a triple on it. They're usually single or a double. Um, that thing is absolutely gorgeous. That's old. That's like 1870 right there. I absolutely love this thing. That's cool. Very beautiful. All right. I just dug another Shirley. That's old. That's an oldie. This area I'm at right now is just super old, which is very cool. This thing is in great shape, too. It's going to still work. How beautiful is that, huh? Sweet. Hello, everybody. We are hiking back into Crooked John and found another cabin. And this one is loaded too, but we're going to keep going. We're going to save this one for another day. I just got a headlight overall button. I thought that was for off the old Model A's, but apparently headlight was an overall. So that's kind of cool. Um, I just did a quick go around. Um, there's China oil lamp stuff all over here. This is going to be a good one. But well, we need to go another half mile to the upper two cabins at Crooked John we didn't get to. So we'll see you there in a minute. Well, I just made it to the upper two cabins. Um, I just dug a beautiful 45 caliber three ringer. Off the old muzzle loaders. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it looks like there's an old wood stove out there in the field. Um, I just got here, so we'll see what it holds. All right. Well, we came back to this cabin we found on the way in. Uh, it's been a slow day. I just found the neatest overall button. Can't bust them. Is that hilarious or what? I don't have that one, that's for sure. Oh, the flies are just horrendous. Anyway, moving on. I'm down here swinging in the tall grass right behind the cabin. Look at this beautiful, beautiful thing. That is half of a padlock. It appears to be, yep. But it's got New York City on it, it looks like. This one's going to be fun to look up. Yep, it was a padlock. God, I'd like to find the other half in the brass top. Wouldn't that be cool? Wow. Unreal cool. All righty. Let's 
So we just came into the logging camp. Right here's where I believe I ended the video last year. And came in with the new machine. I found a cool overall button. But look at this. Right out front. It's a gold cuff link. The back's gone too bad, but it's got a neat design on it. It's beautiful. I love it. Very cool. Alrighty. Hello, everyone. It is Tuesday the 20th. July, me and my friend Cheyenne, my puppy, are up here. It's the first day of my vacation. Um, it is nasty, pouring. Um, it looks like the sun might come out. I just popped something that is incredible. It is an 1800s pendant. And it has a Roman soldier on it. How neat is that? I am just stoked. I don't know how well you can see it. I haven't barely cleaned it up. Um, that is like super neat. There's nothing on the back. It was a stamped um, disc. But look at there's the chain and there he is Cheyenne say hi good girl so anywho I'll get a picture all right hello everybody um, we just hiked, well, they said it was a half mile. Turned out, it seems a little longer. Look at the size of this cabin. This is Corral Creek, way up on the Continental Divide, um, way deep in. There's two more back over here. And I got my wife. And Cheyenne, my puppy with us. So we're going to turn the fish finder on and go see what we can find here. Well, I'm just walking down from the small cabin. All the glass and everything's on this hillside. Um, I just popped this, which is kind of cool. Lantern top. Might have a date on it, but it's 1800s all day long. And I dug. Let me see if I. Hi, Cheyenne. I dug this too, which is. Get it out in the sun. It's a bottle top. That'll be interesting to read. I can't see it in this bright sun, but. That's all right. Pretty slow, you hope? but you hope? we'll keep going. My, what a beautiful day in Montana. I can't believe it's this clear. Um, the Wisdom Fire, the National Out. The National Fire is just down the road from us, and it's not smoky at all. All right, everybody, I just found something that is unreal different. It says meat inspection on it, and it's a lead tag, and it's got the two wires there. It's, it's kind of like a bale seal. Oops. <clears throat> Let me get up here. It's got 
the lettering and then it says meat inspection I can't yeah right there and there's the two wires that went around whatever they were inspecting in the back the lettering is IAP um, I, I don't know. I'll have to get a better look at it. You could probably see it. I can't. I'm blind. But anyway, isn't that cool? That's old. Very cool. All right. Okay, everybody, look at this piece of iron I just found. And that's exactly what I thought it was till I turned it over. Look at that. It's the face to an old lock. And this swung down, there's the keyhole. And this swung down so dirt didn't get in the mechanism. That's an old padlock right there. And it's got the maker's mark right there on it, so we'll be able to look it up. C and C maybe? I'm not sure. God, I wish that whole thing was brass. Sweet! Hey everybody. The fish finder just popped. I believe an old lighter. I haven't got it cleaned up yet, but it's got a circle with a B on it. The hinge for the top is right here. And there's writing on the back also. Um, this thing is cool. That's gonna be fun to research, it really is. Um, I don't know if you can see that. But anywho, there's another beautiful find out of this place. I mean, this the pickings are pretty slim, to be honest with you. A lot of iron. They were logging. I got chain. I got all kinds of stuff. But, you know, you couldn't ask for a better day, I'm telling you. Look at look at how big these cabins are. I mean, that's, that's at least 60 feet long. The one down below is the same, and then the small one's right here. And to be honest with you, I don't know if these are the ones I saw on the map. I don't think they are. I think we came up a little short, so I got to go back to the drawing board and uh, do some more research. But everything looks different when you walk into a place. When you look at it, Google Earth, and say, oh yeah, it's right there. It's a whole different ball game when you walk into a forest like this. I'm telling you that. But anyway, moving on. I'll get a picture and I'll do some research on this. Well, I'm back up here by this big cabin. The other one's down there. I just got a harmonica reed. Kind of cool. So I might have found a spot here. I'll work it for a while. Okay. Well, right in front of this one, I made a double pass. Look at that beauty. Velvet grip. This looped around and held their socks up. I'll put a, I'll post a clip on this because everybody thinks these are women's garters and they're not. And I didn't know that for two years, but anyway, very cool. We're just stopping on our way out from that hike. There's a couple, there's a cellar hole here and an old foundation and homestead there. There's the truck. 
look at this beautiful beautiful spoon and it is tiny copper that thing is neat I don't know if that's like a sugar spoon or what but that is cool and I also just dug this which is some kind of tool I don't know I have to get it cleaned up and look at it, it looks homemade but it's flared at the end pretty neat maybe a hoof pick for horses or something I don't know Alrighty, this hillside is littered with glass and everything. I'm just pecking through it and just got a beautiful Carhartt button. It's got the car and the heart on it. I don't know if I have this one, which will really go good with the collection. And I also dug a crown overall button too, but very cool. sweet yeah i'm right behind this cabin oh man there's garbage everywhere and i went in this hole look at all the glass look at this beautiful sash buckle that made my whole day right there that thing is absolutely gorgeous Oh, 1800s beautiful, huh? Unreal. It pays to go through the garbage. The old fish finder just pinpoints those high tones. It could be a nail, but most of the time, wow. I love this. That thing is sweet. I'll get it straightened out, cleaned out, and waxed. I'll get a picture cleaned up. Beautiful. Well, I'm going through all this glass and garbage on this hill. The foundation's right up there. I got a first, or a half of a first. It's a thimble. Never dug one. And then I popped this out good old suspender clip so that's kind of cool um that it looks silver too which would have been great hole but oh well all right moving up well i'm still in the same spot right there's where i dug that buckle look at that beautiful fort <clears throat> Oh, it's a dandy. It's got fancy all over it. I'm sure it'll have a maker's mark. We'll polish her up. Cool. I just landed me a huge Carhartt button. Look at that. These are hard to find with the heart. There's the car on it. And it says car heart. This is a big button. I got the smaller one at home. This is a find. Absolutely love it. That's how they started. They made them in hearts and had the car on it. Very cool. Sweet. Out here going through the garbage again. Check out this buckle. This thing is cool. That'll clean up and go in the collection. Wow. Never seen one. Very neat. All righty. Right there's where I dug that sash buckle last night. And 
I just found an old logging hook, I guess. But look what was in the hole with it. Yeah, it's just a weedy. But it's 1910. That is two years off of being Indian. But that's, uh, that makes my day right there. 1910. Beautiful. I knew there had to be a coin in all this garbage. All righty. I'll get her cleaned up and get you a picture. Going through the hillside. Look at this beauty. Pocket watch. It's a different one. I don't have that one. Very cool. Let's see if that little ring's in there. Cool. Walking back to the truck, it's getting dark. Look at this suspender clip I just popped. Absolutely gorgeous. Oh, I love it. Sweet. I'll get it put back together and cleaned up and get a picture. Alrighty. Check out this 1800s bottle opener. That's pretty cool. Alrighty. Oh boy. I don't know if you can see it. See the smoke. But that's the wisdom fire. You can barely see the mountains around us. It's getting pretty bad. Um, I just got a dandy. Look at that clock winding key. Absolutely gorgeous. That's gonna clean up and go good with the collection. That thing is sweet. Absolutely love it. Well, I just got a twofer in this hole. Look at this beautiful thing. It had a big stone in it. I'm going to sift through this dirt, but I'm sure it's long gone. Look at that beautiful brooch. It's got a tab and a wire there. That might even be part of a sash buckle. I'm, I'm not sure. But I got a first. Got my first symbol. I, if you remember, I got a couple pieces the other day. <laughs> oh, that's cool. Boy, it's been in the ground a while. Sweet. Okay. Hello, everyone. Um, I, you can see the smoke. It is terrible. All of Montana's on fire. Um, plus, we're getting it from Oregon and California. Uh, this is going to end episode 12. I won't say 11 again. <laughs> um, it's been a good one. We'll work on the next one. Um, that's about it. I'll put it together and get it out to you. Thank you for watching.